When I took over, they were broken. They had just finished last place in the whole world at the World Cup. Imagine that, last place in the whole world. So it, only, it can only get better. <laughs> and the, the thing is, when you look at Christine's face here, the one thing I'm absolutely clear on is I never want anyone, my kids, my wife, the people I work with to feel like that. I'll tell you now, I want people to feel disappointed frequently. I'll put my children in those situations. I'll put myself in those situations because I'm not frightened of failure. And the biggest and best lessons have came in these moments. But I don't want you broken. Feeling shame, humiliation, embarrassment, where you can't even stand up straight because this is what they were feeling. But I'll tell you what, from this place, nine months later, they went and did something no male or female team had done since 1936 in a summer sport. Four years later, they go and do something that no team had done for over 100 years. Iconic moments from broken positions. And I'm going to say this to you. You have to take yourself to that point of breaking if you genuinely want to reach greatness. Because it's those moments that have produced the medals. And people have said to us, well, what the hell did you do? You had nine months before that first Olympics, four years for the next one. And I'll bring it back to some simplicity. Two words that my nana told us when I was this high. I'm still this high, so don't worry about it. <laughs> she said to us, be good. She used to always say it to us, and I remember, be good, John. Be good. You're going to Auntie Joan's house. Be good. You're going to school. Be good. And it stuck with us because it's a simplicity that we lose in adult life. We make our lives so bloody complicated. We throw so much clutter into our worlds. It's hard to even be good. And that was the simplicity behind this team. I had to get them to declutter a lot of things and come back to being a good Canadian first. First. 